Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back. Today, I have trioed up with both Valens and Art for an amazing round on the Fields of Glory. This time bringing my samurai, there has been a resurgence of samurai players. Not only does this job play well with the Dark Knight strategy, it is one of, if not the best, anti-meta pick. We all know the typical Dark Knight rush with Astrologians, Dragoons, and so on. That very same strategy allows for easy Kazuchi. High risk and high reward, you can prevent the enemy team from gaining mass amounts of battle highs. When playing alongside Dark Knights, you make for amazing backup. They salted earth and you open with a mass bind forcing out both guards and purifies. I will cover my thought process for this match. Thank you all for the continued support. Enjoy your day, and I shall see you all in the next one. Having played alongside Art before, I know he is not afraid to do big plays. Therefore, I need to be ready alongside Vale. Whenever Art engages, my follow-up to his Salted Earth is to dash in, granting me access to Mass Bind. Not only does this make any AoE spam more powerful, Art then has a easier time landing a large Quintius in order to heal. In these large fights, I don't use Ogi Namikiri all too often. Once a fight settles down, or if I can clearly see that I have the free reign to stand still for the cast, then I shall go for the Namikiri play, stacking AoE damage and gaining access to shield. Mekyo Shisui is a great skill to play aggressive, as for the first three seconds, it acts as a second purify, nullifying crowd control. For the main pools, so 10 and the main rotation are my usual go-to abilities. I want that mass bind and to tag as many players as possible. That way, should we run them down, I shall still build a fast battle high from assists alone. What happened here is I went for the Namikiri play, which lets me open to the drawing effect of a warrior's bloater. If you die in big fights like this, do not fret. You win some, you lose some. The key is to learn from how they play and to adjust when required. Some players will see that zero score on the board and begin raging. However, us experienced players can tell you that right now, this means fuck all. And right now, I need to stick to my game plan and return to the fight as soon as possible. Right now, Art is playing safe here, waiting out the adder's flank. You almost never want to dive into both enemy teams at once. So while waiting for his chance, I hang off to the side, in order to potentially pick off singled out players, while also continuing to build battle highs. As soon as Art dives in, I follow up with my AoE abilities. While falling back, I then use Mekyo Shisui. Being the closest to the enemy team, you can guarantee some crowd control is coming your way. And if they want to waste it on me, that is less stress for both Art and Vale to deal with. Jumping ahead in this fight, we have slowly pushed the others back, with some assistance thanks to the Maelstrom's return. This fight was coming to an end with many rotating out. Here I went for the cheeky limit break, not with the intent for the one-shot combo, as this was the wrong situation. Instead to further weaken a already weakened adders. In doing so, I secured an extra kill gaining access to Battle High 1 before fleeing to safety with the adders throwing out many of their own limit breaks. During the rotation to the objective, both Art and Vale were unfortunately run down by both the adders and the Maelstrom. In the choke, I slow their advance. This works because the samurai can use Cheaten as a scare tactic, because so many now understand that Cheaten sets up the one-shot ability. Unless they know I do not have limit break at the ready, most players stop attacking, giving me a few extra seconds of free space. With myself in the way and the Maelstrom at their back, I was able to store the adders from ever reaching the objective. Once my resources run low, I fall back slightly, just in time for Art's return. And with the adders now also running on empty, I was able to secure two nice easy kills on both the Astro and the Dancer, pushing myself into a battle high too, with our team now in the lead. With each battle high, you can begin making bolder and bolder plays. You deal more damage, and more importantly, you heal more. As we clean up the stragglers from the adders, Art then flanks the Maelstrom from the side. With such a large group amassed, and I could clearly see their distraction, this time I went for the Namikiri. Hitting multiple players gives me shielding, allowing me to hang around much longer. This also pushes me into the battle high free. We ignore the adders since the Maelstrom currently lead, following them around to the choke, picking off as many as possible. In this earlier stage of the game, you are still playing for battle highs, but when possible farm the leading team. The closer the scores are, the easier the match becomes in the later stages, as the team with the most dominant amount of battle highs will almost always flip the game. After moving in, both Art and Vale are taking control of the Maelstrom's ramp. Striking hard and fast, they either die or retreat, giving our team the chance to break the ice. I go in for my limit break here. However, I choose the wrong target, as I thought at first glance the White Mage triggered my Kazuchi, when in fact it was the Reaper who had just limit broke me. Failing my limit break, that is an instant retreat, as I did not apply enough pressure. 
so instead we fall back and loop around to the objective at our base. Along the way, we are met by both a monk and a bard, who do not last long, and us like a kid on Adderall, beeline straight for the adders. I guard from the dragoon's limit break, to avoid any unnecessary damage. Popping cheats in for both the scare factor and the damage buff, I start throwing out some damage. I do, however, get caught up in the dancer's limit break and the astro's crowd control. I drop back ready to heal, while finishing off their warrior at the same time. They do not, however, give chase, and Art dives in for round two. This is risk-reward because normally you would heal up here. However, the continued pressure and then being forced into this corner, healing now would be a big mistake. Instead, keep this pressure on. Even should you die in this scenario, it would be more than worth should your alliance wipe the enemy team and claim the objective. And as you can see, being forced into that tight spot, they do not last much longer, putting me at a battle high five and our team a nice lead right as the small ice spawn in. I have jumped ahead until after the small ice, and will end the voice over here, as we are now past the halfway point. I do not want to spoil the huge team plays coming up, and the strategies are the same here on out. Dive hard and fast, read the situation around before hard committing, and steal all of their lunch money. Any samurai pros feel free to drop tips down below. Enjoy the remainder of this match, and I will see you all in the next one.